Have you ever wondered what the number one ancient Greek movie is? Well, today's video, we're going to look at the top 10 ancient Greek movies. As fans of Greek epic films should take a look at this list of the best movies that celebrate ancient Greece, which bring to life timeless tales of old. Coming in at number 10 is Hercules, 1997. Disney's Hercules was definitely enjoyable and entertaining, even though it tried being everything under the sun and to appeal to every kid imaginable, whether they like superheroes, celebrity athletes, the one, narratives, or ancient myths. The young son of Zeus and Hera is kidnapped and turned mortal to grow upon Earth. Years later, and at last aware of his godly origins, he embarks on a journey to become the true hero and earn his place on Olympus. Meanwhile, his evil uncle, Hades, is planning the demise of all the other gods, and only one man can stand in his way. Number 9 is Alexander, 2004. Beginning in 283 BC, this epic tale of kingship, conquest, betrayal and passion follows Alexander, King of Macedonia, played by Colin Farrell, and the general who conquered Persia from his childhood to his death. Alexander never wavered in his will, becoming beloved to some and hated by many. He was undefeated in battle from his 20th year to his untimely death at 32, and his life influenced many peoples and civilizations. The film combines historical evidence with original ideas and certain non-confirmed legends and rumors from the depths of history to create the portrait of a fascinating and tumultuous life. Number 8, Troy, 2004. Brad Pitt stars as Achilles, the legendary warrior, son of goddess Thetis and mortal king Pelus, in his toils as the best warrior of the Greeks, but a man knowingly destined to die in battle and achieve eternal fame. He and his Meridian warriors are a part of Ag Agamemnon's expedition to conquer Troy, the city of the sun. Achilles' love of is a Trojan noblewoman, along with his own ego, will clash against his already frail loyalty to Agamemnon and his film where worlds collide. Now, if I've said any of these names wrong, I apologise. They are very hard. Number 7, Agora, 2009. Rachel Wise stars as Paphia, the famous female Greek philosopher, mathematician and the prominent member of the Napoleon Neoplatonic school who teaches the Platonic Academy in Alexandria during the 4th century AD. She is deeply devoted to science and rejects the advance of many men that falls for her. Meanwhile, she finds herself in the middle of civil unrest in a city and the violent clash between pagans and Christians as the old and the new religion collide in moments that will define the rest of history. Number 6 is 300, 2006. Based on the gritty graphic novel by Frank Miller, this film by Zack Snyder follows Leondas, played by Gerard Butler and his 300 warriors as they march against all odds to fight off the Persian invaders and their king, Xerxes. Leondas has to lead his brave warriors into a battle that might as well be lost already in front of the vast numbers of the Persian armies, while back home in Sparta, betrayal and conspiracies are brewing. The film captures the ancient Spartan philosophy of unison and hardness and the battle-oriented culture, while the Noor and Gory ascetic elevate in the whole new level. And if if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which is your favourite ancient Greek movie. Number five is Spartacus, 1960. The legendary actors Kirk Douglas and Laurence Olivia star in Stanley Kubrick's epic tale of hardship, enslavement and rebellion. Spartacus, a Greek slave to the Roman Republic, is sentenced to death due to insubordination but spurred because Lentulus Batatius buys him seeing a potential gladiator in him. Spartacus falls in love with Verenia, a slave woman and leads a rebellion that takes Rome and its perfections by storm, freeing people and trying to find a way to lead them all their homes. Unfortunately, in the midst of panic from the ever-growing army of freed slaves, Rome falls under the tyranny 
and Spartacus Rebellion is short lived. However, on a hopeful note, he leaves a son behind, a free boy that will grow up to tell his father's story. Number four, Epiphigenia. I've probably said that wrong, but it came out in 1977. This film was part of Michael Kakonian's Greek Tragedy trilogy, along with the Trojan Woman next on our list and Electra. Agamemnon, the king of Argos, had gathered a vast Greek expeditionary army on the coast of Ilulus that he intended to take to Troy in order to retrieve his brother's wife, but the opening wind prevented the ships from sailing for a long time. Agamemnon lets the restless men slay and eat sheep that belong to Athena's temple. In the subsequent havoc, Artemis, sacred deer, is unintentionally killed. Galacta, the high priest of Artemis' temple, is enraged by the blasphemy and says that furious Artemis will calm the winds, letting the Greek sails on one condition. They must sacrifice the young daughter of Agamemnon, Epiphania. 3. The Trojan Woman, came in 1971. Legends of Cinema, Catherine Hepburn and Vanessa Redgrave star in this film by Iconius that is based on the harmonious ancient Greek tragedy of Euripides. The film follows the various noble women of Troy, Ecubu, Amulta, Cassandra and Helen. After this slack, each one with, his, with her own personal tragedies and fears, all of them collectively worried about their future and the ultimate fate of Troy as they are surrounded by death and ruins. This was the second in Caconian's Greek Tragedy Trilogy. And again, if I say anything wrong in this, I apologise. Number two, Jason and the Argonauts, 1963. The fabled Greek hero, Jason, guides a team of courageous voyagers in a dangerous search for the legendary Golden Fleece. Jason has been foretold to seize back the throne of Fasile, as he is, unbeknownst to himself, the true hire. When he keeps Pileus from dying, but does not identify him as, as the usurper of his father's throne, Pileus rushes Jason to the court of Colossus to find the Golden Fleece. Jason gathers a maritime crew of the best men in Greece, including Hercules, as they depart under the guard of Hera, Queen of the Gods, as her expedition abounds with fights against Harpies, a bronze giant Talos, a Hydra, and many more obstacles. Coming in at number one is Ulysses, 1954. This Italian swords and sandals epic stars Kirk Douglas and Anthony Quinn and follows the adventures of Ulysses, king of Ithaca, Ithaca and one of the Greek generals of the Trojan War as he desperately tries to return to his homeland following the Odyssey quite faithfully. During the sack of Troy, he and his men desecrated the temple of Poseidon and the punishment as he threw many obstacles on the path of the return. After men, many a tribulation, Ulysses finds himself an amnesiac on the island of Pisea and falls for Princess Nausicaa. However, when his memory is stirred, he must find the courage to return home and face a wife and son he hasn't seen in 20 years. And these are the top 10 ancient Greek movies. Let us know in the comments which one do you think should be number one. Do you agree with the list? And then again, I apologise for messing up many, many of these words. Yeah, but, but let us know below. Um, and thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.